morning, you guys. I'm in my bathroom. Yeah, I'm at home. I'm quarantined, as you all know, with all this craziness happening in the world. Super scary, but we don't have to be scared because... God is in control. By the way, welcome back to another Down School vlog. My name is Deverne Holloway. If you're new, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to take you guys with me throughout my day as I am quarantined at home and what I'm trying to do to stay productive and stay motivated and stay excited. So stay tuned. It is about 7 30 7 a.m in the morning and i just woke up the first thing i do when i wake up is have my prayer and most times i have that with my husband in the morning but this morning my husband is not here he was on call last night i know sad for me um so you have to get it on it was cold my husband was at work he was working in the hospital he's a physician and so he is one of those on the front lines you know working to help us to combat this COVID-19 coronavirus. That's what I did first, and then next I'm gonna brush my teeth. The toothbrush that I use, oh, sorry, falling down, is Oral-B, um, and yeah, I like made it all pink, it's so cute. Brushing your teeth is so therapeutic. I don't understand why people don't like to brush their teeth. <laughs> ah, mm, all done. So I know a lot of people like to go to the gym to exercise. I also like to go to the gym from time to time, but I also like to exercise at home. And I used to be in gymnastics a very, very long time ago, and we won't talk about how long that was. When I was in gymnastics, it was great because, you know, you were on a team, everyone's working out together, you're externally motivated, there's so much energy, and it's super awesome. But now, you know, growing up, being an adult, and you're on your own, and you have to self-motivate, I wanted something else um, that, you know, from the stresses of school, you get to come home or in the morning, it just is kind of fun and, you know, but you're getting a good workout as well. So my husband got me for my birthday. I don't know if it was my birthday or, or Christmas. I don't remember. So one of those, he got me this game and it's called Ring Fit Adventure. And it's a really, 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 really neat game. It's awesome, you guys. I absolutely love it. And it gives me a good workout. And the cool thing about it is that you can play the game or you can select your own workout and work out different parts of your body that's not in the game. So keep watching and I'll show you how it goes. So it uses Nintendo Switch right here. So you have to buy this. And then this is the ring con that you use. And then you put the controllers in here and this is a strap that you would strap onto your leg so that it can track how you're moving you know like you're running and this is really great for resistance for your arms and different things as you'll see so let's get started was awesome that was a really good workout <sighs> i'm really tired just finished stretching it was great guys i am really happy with that exercise today i'm now gonna go outside and just get some fresh air maybe just kind of walk the neighborhood and then i'm gonna go make a power drink smoothie to kind of just boost my immune system so let's go okay going outside Oh, I left the light on last night. Do you hear the birds chirping? So pretty. Fix these eyebrows, always looking hecka crazy. <sighs> Lots of cars. Usually there are not so many cars at home, but 
there are a lot of cars out because everybody's home. There's a lot of kids in this neighborhood too where we live, so all the kids are home from school. So now there are a million cars everywhere. So these are one of the places in our little compound area of where we live. Um, and I love to just come here sometimes and just sit, get some fresh air, and watch the little, what are these, geese? I think they're geese. I'm low-key a little scared of them though. Last time I was attacked by one. <laughs> kind of territorial, but you know what? I'm gonna stay in my lane, and they can stay in their lane, and we good. But yeah. It's just nice to get out of the house and just get some fresh air and this is kind of you know wait and decompress after a vigorous workout so yeah and it's so i just love hearing the birds and yeah it's nice so i'm gonna go back inside and make that smoothie like i said so let's go do that okay we're back we're in the kitchen so i'm gonna be making a green smoothie today first i have is some pineapple I really, really like pineapple. I love the citrusy taste of pineapple. Um, actually, when I went to the stores, because everyone has been freaking out about this coronavirus, understandably, but we don't need to panic. So when I went to the store, I was looking in the frozen section and I did not find any frozen pineapple, far more or less any frozen fruits at all. So what I did, I was I got pineapples, like actual pineapples, live, like from the ground. The plant, I mean the fruit. Okay, cut it myself and made my own smoothie and froze them. So, and I put them in a little packet so I can just, you know, put the whole thing in there. So I have pineapples. Pineapples are really great because they have a lot of vitamin C. And right now we really want to try and boost our immune system. So, got to have my vitamin C. I also have mango. Putting in some mangoes. I know these look pitiful. I've had them for a while, but they've been in the fridge and they're still really good, really sweet. And mangoes have a lot of vitamin C as well. So again, another thing to boost our immune system that way. I'm gonna put a lemon in it, also vitamin C. Now, one of my favorite things is to put kale um, as a great base. I'm gonna be using kale. And kale is a great base because kale is a superfood. It has a lot, a lot of vitamins. It's very nutrient dense. It has antioxidant, antioxidants, if I can say this correctly. It has also vitamin C, it has protein. I mean, you name it. Kale has it, it's great. It's also great in salads. Of course, you guys know it. it's amazing. If you don't like kale, I'm sorry, I love kale. I'm also gonna put some ginger in it. Um, ginger, I don't know a lot of the benefits, but I just know it tastes really good. I love ginger, just love that flavor. It gives you that little kick. I'm also gonna use coconut water. It's very refreshing. And I use this instead of juice. You know, sometimes people use juice as you know liquid base, but I use coconut water, it's not as sweet. Um, what else? I think that's it. Oh, and I said the garlic. So I have garlic and garlic is great too because it is anti-inflammatory. It has a lot of um, immune system boosters. It has a lot of different health benefits as well. So I'm really trying to do whatever I can to really ramp up my immune system so it's ready to fight. fight, fight, fight. And it can like, you know, if this COVID virus wants to visit me, we got you. I got you. I'm ready. So let's get started. all done nice and green look at that beautiful kale green so pretty I have my stainless steel reusable straw because i am trying to be more environmental friendly to go from a lot of plastics and um and go to more glass and stainless steel so these are reusable really cool you can get them at target walmart anywhere so love these so now I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna go uh, take a shower. <laughs> and then I'll come back and have this. And then I put him in the fridge to cool. I did taste some, you can see I drank some. So I am all done, all showered. I had my smoothie already. I sat on the phone and I sat on the 
on, you guys. I sat. <laughs> I called my best friend. We caught up. I had my smoothie. It was great. I also had some waffles. So I think I'm good for right now. Typically in school, we'll have lunch around 1130. So I'm still on that cycle. So that's a good little small breakfast. It should hold me over till 1130. And the next thing I'm going to do now is have my personal devotions. I really, really love this. The fact that we're on break, I get to spend extra time in the word. I usually do have my own personal devotions in the mornings, but I just get to spend a little extra time. And you guys guess where I have my personal devotions. Yes, I have this quite huge, large tent in my office. I, you'll figure out and learn about me that I love cozy, cutesy little things. I like to study in like cozy areas as well as a desk. So in my office, I have both. So take a look. So here it is. This is my beautiful, super cozy, boho themed TP. I love to come in here in the mornings and have my devotions. I also like to cuddle up in here with a blanket and study. I just love this little space. It just kind of gives me a little area to get away. This is my little devotional. Um, my friend introduced me to the soap study. The, Pretty much you take a Bible verse, you write out the scripture, then you write what you observe about it, then your own application to today, and then your prayer. So um, I probably will do that again, but if not, I'll just read a passage and have prayer. Okay, so I wanted to update you guys on what's happening on my end. For those of you who don't know, I live in Ohio, and I go to the Ohio State School of Dentistry. And like many of you, I've also been impacted by coronavirus, thus the quarantine, that's what we're talking about. I want to let you guys know kind of a little bit backstory of what's been happening. Our spring break was actually during the week of March 8th, so a week before things went down, which we're very fortunate because I was able to go out for my spring break, go somewhere, you know, like unlike many people who I know are experiencing their spring break during the lockdown. But I was able to go to Disney World for spring break, which was awesome. My husband had a conference there. So we combined like our spring break and the conference and his conference was only half day. And I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but my husband's a physician, so it was a medical conference. And it was awesome because we had a blast. It was so much fun. And we got to go to all the parks. I stayed at home when he was in the lecture, at home, but in the hotel. And I got to binge watch different shows and just kind of relax and go to the pool. It was awesome. Totally awesome. Totally worth it. But as we were there, we started to notice that things started to change at the hotel. We were there for five days. And by the Thursday, we started seeing a lot more hand sanitizer bottles out, which was good. And then signs started to go up. And as we were following along with the news, we started noticing that places started to shut down. Schools were starting to shut down. And we were thinking, wow, this is about to get really serious. But fortunately for us, our vacation was coming to our end anyway. And so we left Thursday. By the time I got back to Ohio on Friday, I received an email from our dean saying that our schools were shut down. We were not allowed to come back to campus in terms of for the dental students. And we would not be having face-to-face -face classes, like meeting in person. So that was crazy. I was so shocked, you guys. I was like, I cannot believe this is happening. It's been like two weeks now since this has happened or two or three weeks, right? Because it was March and now it's like end of almost end of March. We've been surviving and thriving despite this crazy situation. And we've been doing a lot of classes online. And our governor here, like many of your areas, I'm sure have, you know, all the restaurants are closed. You know, they're just doing carry out only. You can't, the stores are closed. I mean, everything's closed, you guys. There's nothing out there. It's it's so sad. <sighs> I can't wait till this is over. But at the same time, you know, this is what we got to do in order to make sure that we are really getting a hold on and a handle on this virus and making sure that we flatten that curve and new cases aren't being found and we're all in the green to go back out. So for right now, I'm doing my part. I'm staying home and my heart goes out to all of you health providers who are out there, who are in the front lines, really putting yourselves at risk. I appreciate and I thank you all for your, your service and uh, also all the dentists out there. Those of you who are done and all the D3s and D4s, I know this is a hard time, but we're going to get through this. 
somehow. So stay strong, keep the faith. It's going to be okay. So I wanted to continue with the rest of the afternoon. I um, just wanted to catch you guys up on that part. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start studying now. I really want to make the most of this time, like I said. So I'm going to study and then I have a class on Zoom later. So we'll see how that goes. classes through Zoom. Um, that's my teacher and she's explaining everything that we'll be doing going forward. So it's kind of cool to have this new setup and I'm glad that we have technology that we can still get an education. It's kind of nice to be home to be able to, you know, learn at your own pace, but at the same time, I miss everybody and I miss my friends. Um, but yeah, you know, trying to see the bright side of things. So it's cool so far. This is the kind of stuff we do while we're in class. Just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm serious though. So it is currently 3 p.m. I actually had a little snack as you saw earlier so I'm not hungry yet um so I'm gonna go ahead and study power study for the next two hours till around 5 5 30 and then I'm going to have dinner my husband came home early so I'm really excited so he's here now so yeah we'll probably have supper together and maybe watch a little HGTV and then um I'll continue studying so that's how it's gonna be. Seven o'clock, and so we're gonna have dinner, and we're gonna watch HGTV, which is one of our favorite things to do together. And then after that, I'm gonna study some more, probably. So yesterday I made this lo mein, and it's super easy. It's just mixed vegetables. I use ramen noodles, and I saute everything together, and I season it myself. Super easy. This brings us to the end of another dental vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really enjoyed sharing with you how my day's like in quarantine and it's really been great. It's not that bad and I hope that you guys are doing well and staying healthy. My husband and I were just gonna hang out and chill, maybe get some more studying in, but probably not. I'm gonna have a good time. So you do too. Be blessed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.